One of the biggest ever dam removals has been completed in Aberdeenshire. The Geerlogie Dam was built as part of a now defunct local hydroelectric scheme in the 1920s. Its demolition opens up part of the River Dee to Atlantic salmon for the first time in more than 100 years, as Rebecca Curran reports. The demolition of this dam may have been short on drama, but it's seen as a significant step towards reviving the River Dee. For the first time in a century, Atlantic salmon can now access about 20 kilometres of precious spawning habitat, and other species will benefit too. The area upstream, which was previously impounded by the reservoir, that's about four hectares of habitat now. It's full of wildlife. And then when the salmon return over the winter, they'll be upstream straight through here, straight up into the habitat upstream and start spawning. And over the next few years, we'll start to see those salmon then mature and head back out to sea to complete their life cycle. The Dee is one of the world's most famous rivers for salmon fishing. And for the species to have a future, removing man-made barriers is seen as a vital step. This is one of the biggest dam removals ever to have been completed in Scotland. It's been years in the planning, and those involved say the environmental impact will be huge. Atlantic salmon and a lot of our, our river species are really, really on a knife edge and removing these dams is one of the most straightforward and quickest impacts we can have for these species. There's over 4,000 kilometres of river in Scotland that are blocked right now to Atlantic salmon and other species. That really should be the top of our priority list and Garlogi Dam shows you that it's possible. Over the next year, trees will be planted and wetland restored in the hope of creating a haven for wildlife while breathing life back into the river. Rebecca Curran, reporting Scotland, Garlogie.